We first told you in April about a former CIA officer who was convicted by an Italian court for a U.S. government approved mission. There was no movement under the Obama administration, and it appeared the Trump White House would support her. But tonight, that officer is back in Italy facing years of probation. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge looks at the diplomacy and the politics behind this story. Totally, absolutely abandoned. With the new administration, a former CIA officer thought her decade-long ordeal would end. It's like the White House wanted to help and then the swamp kicked in. In 2009, an Italian court convicted Sabrina D'Souza in absentia, along with two dozen others connected to the U.S. government-sanctioned kidnapping of cleric Abu Omar. Some were pardoned, others live in the U.S. and were told to avoid countries with extradition treaties to the European Union. As a dual U.S.-Portuguese citizen, D'Souza Susan's situation was more complex. She sat down with Fox earlier this year. It sets a precedent, a precedent where the U.S. allowed the convictions of intelligence officers and U.S. diplomats. In February, after CIA Director Mike Pompeo and others in the Trump administration intervened, the Italian president reduced her sentence from four years to three, in turn opening the door to a non-prison sentence. How Brett Baer interviewed the Italian prime minister after the decision. I have to say that the U.S. administration was very satisfied uh, one month ago when the case was uh, solved. So you think it's pretty much wrapped up? Yeah. But for D'Souza, it was not over. A former Republican chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Pete Hoekstra, says there were meetings with State Department and CIA officials, but D'Souza's options were limited stay in the U.S. when most of her family is overseas and risk the Italian government issuing a new arrest warrant or go back to Italy and serve three years probation. There wasn't a lot of counsel. They didn't tell her what to do. They just said if you return to Italy there will be risk. There's also tremendous risk associated with not returning to Italy. Uh, there are no good choices for Sabrina to make. I was really hoping this time around and really I was very very optimistic after 10, 12 years this was a ray of light really but uh, it just never happened at the end. Former intelligence officers have told Fox News they are bothered by the case because it suggests the government does not have their back when they take on risk and a sanctioned mission goes bad. The CIA declined to comment and the State Department had nothing new to add. A White House spokesman said they strongly disagreed with the characterization that D'Souza was abandoned but could not immediately offer more details, Brett. Catherine, thank you.